Hello there guys and welcome to another edition of Star Wars Comics where today I give you the video that I promised to you guys since there was tons of likes that you guys left on the previous video today we explore the crazy adventure of Darth Vader this one in particular will be quite satisfactory so stick around till the end my friends and don't forget to leave your likes and your thoughts down below so yesterday we got to see the trap that was being devised against Palpatine since Grand Moff Tretchta and others had banded together to bring down both the Emperor and Vader. They were trying to do this simply because of their Sith ways. They wanted the Empire to be a secular state and not be run by religious fanatics of the Sith. To start with, we will go to the beginning, where Palpatine summons Vader to his office. He proceeds to tell Vader of a mysterious attack on some Imperials. The attack happened on planet Darguli, and what's worse, it was none other than a surviving Jedi. Palpatine personally asked for Vader to take care of the situation as he knew best. With the order given, Vader set course for Darguli, hoping to uncover this mysterious Jedi as quickly and as swiftly as possible. However, the mission wouldn't go smoothly by any means. Trachta and his conspirators had already laid a trap to kill the Sith Lord. The plan was just about to unfold. As they were traveling to the planet, Admiral Koi had spotted an anomaly. He informed Vader that they had intercepted a communication about a rebel's rendezvous not far from their present course. Vader couldn't let this opportunity slip away. In his mind, the criminal on Darguli can wait and ordered them to set course for the Rebel Rendezvous. As soon as they approached the Corvette ship, they immediately started the boarding process. The tractor beam roped in the ship and the team prepared to enter, crushing the Rebels' plans. Once inside, however, they discovered it was abandoned. Nobody was on board. Vader knew immediately what was about to happen. He disabled the tractor beam with the crew on board, released the ship to be pushed into space, but it exploded prematurely. The trap was already set. Everything exploded around them. Many were sucked into the vacuum of space and died. Only through his suit was Vader able to survive and fight the rebel scum another day. With him having evaded the trap, Vader and the crew proceeded to the planet Darguli. It was time to settle this now. While meditating, Vader was having visions of his former self and his former master, awoken suddenly by the Admiral telling him that they are orbiting Darguli. Vader proceeds to tell him that he will go at it alone. No stormtroopers will proceed with him. He needed to face this threat all by himself. Down on the planet, he was searching in darkness. Suddenly, two civilians approach him. They almost recognized the Sith. One even touched him, but Vader cut his hand by igniting his lightsaber, and it was clear who he was. The second guy runs at a mob, yelling that it was Darth Vader. He approached all of them, stating that there was a child posing as a Jedi, wielding a lightsaber. If they want him to leave, then all they have to do is turn over the Jedi immediately. Rationing among themselves, they came to an agreement. Vader had come alone. They might never have this chance again, and if they take him down right now, they might go down as legends of the galaxy. They rushed towards him. Naturally, they were no match for Vader. He proceeded to demolish every single one of them, cut to a nearby bar. Inside, we see that Boba Fett was present. Suddenly, a man enters and yells out that Vader is here and he is alone. They are trying to take him down. As soon as Boba went out, what he witnessed was amazing. Vader was just demolishing people left and right. Many were firing their blasters from afar and some going in close for combat. While Vader was engaged in fighting, one of them had targeted the Sith and was ready to fire and maybe even injure Vader at that moment. But right then and there, Boba Fett shoots the perpetrator down quick. Vader and Boba exchange a glance. Vader had just gained a partner. Both of them went at the assassins mercilessly, some getting shot by Boba while Vader sliced and diced the others. Boba was even teasing Vader that he was slowing down. Then Vader hears his name getting called. It was a female Jedi survivor. 
In fact, she reveals that she had killed those stormtroopers just to have Vader come here personally. She was waiting for him, hoping to attract the attention of Darth Vader. In fact, she had foreseen that Vader would eventually kill Palpatine, and sensed that he could bring order to the Force and rule the galaxy. She also could sense that Vader was missing something in his life, and so because of this, she wished to become his Sith apprentice. Vader approached hesitated, and then suddenly ignited his lightsaber and killed her right then and there. He had no need of an apprentice, and his mission was now officially done. Boba of course reminded him that if he didn't save him, he might have gotten shot and killed today. With this, all that remained is for Vader to uncover who was behind all of this treachery the trap that was laid out for both Vader and Palpatine. Of course, Admiral Dezetus was the prime suspect for Vader as he extracted the information from him that behind this betrayal was Grand Moff Trechta. With that, Vader and Palpatine have now set their sights fully on Trechta, locating and eliminating this treasonous scum once and for all from the glorious empire. If you guys want me to continue this series, then please feel free to leave a like down below. This way I will know if you want me to do more of these, but of course, after leaving that big like, you can comment as well and let me know what comics would you like to see or general thoughts that you have. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I truly appreciate your support. Stay tuned tomorrow for another video. And before you go, may the force be with you always.